you have towns, and I have very much, very much poorly estimated the time period. No, get it. I need in your house. <laughs> that I have left to complete this job. Where is he, Luca? Who is he, Luca? Oh my gosh, I have some packages and I need to deliver them like right now for Ludus of all people. And I, I don't know. Okay, is that who? Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm totally looking at the wrong people. It's not the priestesses. I need to deliver packages to the little family who lives down by the beach. And I really need to run for it because I've only got 20 minutes left. <laughs> that means 20 seconds. 20 seconds, you guys. Okay, quick, quick, quick. We can do this. We can do this. I've got this. All right, quickly. There we go. Squawk. Oh, squawk. I'm eating. If I talk with my mouth full, mom might thwack me. No, I don't need to talk to you, buddy. There we go. Package. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Look at them. They're eating some fish for dinner, which makes so much sense because they're a fishing family. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I did it. I did it. I was able to give them their package before the time was up. That was that was seriously pretty intense because I only had a couple more minutes left. But hello everyone and welcome, welcome, welcome back. Wait, I was supposed to ship things too. No, no, I forgot. There's no time. I won't be able. I'm going to lose my shipping opportunity, aren't I? I can't run fast enough. Oh dear, that's what I get for taking on so many part-time jobs at once. Ah, oh, that's all right. Am I gonna lose time on it? I might. Okay, I'm gonna run. Oh no, there it was. The notice that the time limit for my job is up. And I think that's because somebody is going to be at Clover Farm. Possibly Megan collecting up the goods. Hi, Megan. Oh, well, if it isn't Siri, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good, Megan. All right, so sorry about the rushed intro, you guys. I was just so distracted yesterday thinking about what kind of really awesome farm circles we could have here on my farm. All of the things that we could start spreading around everywhere, tons and tons of different types of farm circles, trying to build bigger barns, trying to upgrade our tools. I got distracted by talking about all of those things with Ludus, who I have to admit, even though we haven't met all the bachelors, so I don't wanna make my decision yet, he's a little bit distractible himself. <laughs> but um, I ended up doing all of those things and not noticing how quickly time was going. So I did miss out on one of my part-time jobs, which is a bit of a pity because I had plenty of radishes to actually ship. I forgot I had accepted that as a part-time job last time. But the good news is that I also learned a little bit more about these town link ranks. And I think that the town link ranks are normally locked and somebody will inform you what kind of chore you need to do to unlock them. But one of the chores we actually need to do is is to ship 10 vegetables to West Town. So I'm not sure if it'll count if I put them in today. I think maybe they'll only ship tomorrow, but I'm gonna try tossing 10 of my radishes in there. Darn, and nothing happened today. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove them for now. Just kind of keep them on me. But yeah, what a busy day. Oh my goodness, no, I want them. Come back here, radishes. All right, I'm gonna put them in storage. Ha ha ha, now I will have plenty and plenty of uh, the delicious vegetable bread to be able to make. Some radishes and flour apparently make a pretty good vegetable bread, even though I'm a little dubious about that. But, all right, so we learned a lot about how we want to upgrade our tools. We're going to definitely, hey Ludus. We're going to definitely want to go to the mines uh, tomorrow in game time in order to gather up as much of the iron and the black rocks and the copper that we can possibly get our hands on so that hopefully we can upgrade our hammer, we can start accessing new areas. I would really love that. Or our axe so that we could get more lumber so we can provide more upgrades to barns and get more pet houses and things without having to buy the lumber. That would be so cool. <sighs> but all right, nah, it won't be a bother at all. Serious, it's okay, I'm here to help. That's so nice. I really love how, how Aloha. Oh, he's just so nice. I really love how friendly Ludus is. But all right, so let's see if we can try to find somewhere that I could go to eat something in Luluco because, oh, hello lady. For, some ra for someone who loves rare plants and animals like me, this place is great. It's a treasure trove of knowledge. <gasps> Ray, you and I could be best friends and I want your dress. I cannot wait until we can start having more outfits because hopefully, okay, this place is closed at this time of day. Because hopefully those little outfits will actually like let me theme up so we could wear like that lady's dress and we could come here to Luluco when we want to have a Luluco day or we could wear our adorable little dress that we have on right now when we wanted to spend time in West Town. It could be really fun. All right. Como mai? Welcome to Aquapaza. All right. So let's see what Carolia is selling today. She's got some new items. Salt, vanilla extract, vinegar, and oil. That is very interesting, Carolia. I might have to look into that. And sea urchins? 
<laughs> oh my goodness, a sea urchin from a distant island, considered an exotic import in this region. You can make some really interesting dishes with it. Wow, so sea urchins and curry powder. So there's some pretty interesting recipes here. I wonder where I can buy recipes though. I haven't figured out how to actually shop and like eat at the, the little restaurant we have in town yet. So I'm gonna keep an eye on that. All right, so there's bananas for sale. They're very expensive. Right here at this man's fruit shop. Thank you. And over here, let's see. Poli Poli has what? Buy everything. Uh, we already got the pocket calendar. There's some bait, dry soil, soft soil, solid soil. And I think as we increase our relationship with this town, those will all change as well. So there'll be a lot more food types available. But all right, what I really want to do today is definitely work on the mining. Oh, hi, buddy. Cells were sold today, plus I caught a few fish. It was a good day. Oh, reflecting on the daily joy like that is always an awesome thing to do. So I want to actually eat something. So I'm going to go ahead and have one of my potato breads. I'm going to eat it. My potato bread. There we go. And then I'm going to get out my fishing rod. If I can find it. Where is it? There we go. All right, there we go. And I'm going to toss my fishing rod in and we're going to see what we can fish from Luluco's beaches for just a second. And I love how Ludus and like all the other characters just walk around so much behind you. It's really cool that they never really hold still. All right. Oh, yes, I got a branch. I totally needed that actually. So that makes me really happy. And we should definitely look into getting a couple small fish and we can actually turn two small fish into some bait. It is a secret service that is available to us from Gulliver's. And eventually we can actually get fish traps to put along the beach and be able to catch certain special types of fish in those fish traps. Oh, a sardine! I'm pretty sure that's a small enough fish that I could definitely use that for bait tomorrow. Oh, I love how much there is to do, and we've hardly even started touching on just everything that you can accomplish. I wonder if you can get little... I love fishing in Stardew Valley because you can get those little treasure pods and open up the little treasure chest, and that's just so much fun. Oh, come here! Come on, fish! Fishing at the tropical Luthico beaches. And what I get this time? Ooh, a black tip fully sir. First time I caught that kind of guy, too. All right, and then I need to go home and water my other crops and go to bed pretty soon. It's getting pretty late. Come on. Come on, little fish. I have a lot of mining I have to do in the morning. Come on, little buddy. I can't wait to figure out where I can buy recipes from this town, too. That's going to be fun. I think I just need to go to the Luluco restaurant at, like, a specific time. All right, let's see. All right, another black tip. A new size for this species. Cool. Man, why is this always so relaxing? If only I had the right kind of gear to wear for this and not just my farm shoes. But that's going to come the day that we manage to get some wool. So I do need to upgrade my barn so we can have some sheep. Oh, I'm so excited. There's just so much to do. All right, another black tip something something. All right, well, I'm really tired now, so we're going to go home. Oh! <gasps> Fireflies, you guys, fireflies come out if you wait long enough. Just like, just like when you're here and it's raining and you can find fish. I have, I actually have tears in my eyes right now because that's such a beautiful detail. I mean, even the way that like there's always cherry blossoms falling and the way that you've got like the little, the little dream catcher things right here. Those are the kinds of details that just make something so full of life and so beautiful and I just feel so inspired by that right now. Oh, I'm a sap. That's why I'm, I'm a total sap. All right. So we're going to eat this vegetable bread. Um, let's go ahead and eat it and that'll give us back a little bit of our energy and let's take care of our fields really quickly. There you go, little radishes. And I have no idea if I remembered. I think this morning I remembered to have sparkly potatoes game morning. I wonder how often you can fertilize your fields. Hmm, I'm gonna have to think about that because these need to be sparkle sparkle potatoes. So let's see if I pull out my fertilizer Is it going to tell me you already I almost grabbed the flower that could have been really bad if I like grabbed the flower and tried to put the flower down Yep, okay. Yeah, it'll let you know if you have already fertilized a crop. So that's really helpful So I don't need to give those sparkly potatoes any more fertilizer just yet I should probably get out Desi's special fertilizer and use it on those potatoes The stuff that she gave us when we've managed to find 100 bugs, which I think is so cute I think that's just so utterly awesome and unique. All right, so all these guys are watered my new potatoes Here's my little patch of radishes There you go 
All right, and that's probably everything I can do for now because I'm really tired. And I'm just going to have to let my bellflowers kind of grow at their own pace. But all right, so let's go ahead and go to bed, guys. It has been a really amazingly awesome day. I'm going to see about what stuff I can put in storage really quickly. Like the flower can all go in storage. Da -da. And then we've also got, uh, let's see. Um, like this branch I need to hit with a axe, but then we can take care of that. The maple branch can go away. I think that if I put things in storage, it'll, I don't know if it'll still stay with me when it's time to upgrade them. So we'll think about that later. All right, so let's go to sleep. We've got a big day of mining. Oh, and it sounds like Uncle Frank has come over. Siri, Yen, pardon me. Uncle Frank, what do you think about my upgraded house? I have been working so hard, Uncle Frank. I love this place. This is my home. What do you think? How's it going? Reckoned it was about time I check in on you and saw how you were doing with your town link ranks. Doing pretty good. Good, good. Looks like you're strengthening your bond with the towns just fine. Hmm? Looks like you got a lock on your town link rank there. Why, Uncle Frank, let me know. Building a bond with a town won't always be smooth sailing, you know. Sometimes you'll check it and find out the bar is locked. So, as long as that town that locks there, the gauge won't budge no matter what you do. So, first things first, we've got to get that lock off. But you, to do that, there's certain criteria you got to meet. Like what, Uncle Frank? Let me know. Here, let me give you the details. First, take a gander at this. I love how they use the different phrases in every village. It's so perfect. All right. Requirements pop up. Oh, what's this? Oh, okay. Where did those requirements pop up? Interesting. Uncle Frank, I'm a little confused. So far, it looks like the requirements are all stuff you can handle on your own. But later on, you'll probably come across some that you'll need to get help from other people to clear. Oh, that makes sense. Like if you really needed to build a bond with the people in town so they could help you improve the town in some way, which then in turn ends up improving your life in some way by opening up new town link ranks. That's so cool. I wonder if you like physically improve the town as time goes on too. That would just be too much amazingness. Oh my gosh. If you do run into one of those, go talk with the town elder or some of the townsfolk. They'll give you a hint. Wonderful. Thank you, Uncle Frank. Right then. I'll be heading home now. Good luck with your town link ranks. I'll be rooting for you. Thank you, Uncle Frank. Oh, I'm so excited. We're doing so good, guys. The town link rank memo unlocks. I should keep an eye on those. All right, I'm on it. I like it when people can be very clear about how I can help out. All right, so we made 800 gold from our part-time jobs yesterday, which doesn't feel like very... What? <gasps> Desi! Oh, she's gonna give me a new gift, you guys! Yay! We must have found 100 fireflies and frogs and all those other bugs. 300 animals before we're even through spring. I am so proud of my observation skills right now. Nice to see you, Siri. How's it going? So well, Desi, so well. Wow, you sure have found lots of bugs, Siri. Let me give you something for your hard work. <laughs> Alright, what's she gonna give me? <gasps> it's treats for my animals! Some more soft treats, wonderful. If you catch a whole lot more bugs, I'll give you another present. Good luck. Oh gosh, it's so busy. We've got so much going down lately. All right, thank you, Desi. So now I have soft treats for my animals. Oh, uh, dang it, and I changed the thing to Luluco today. Why? <laughs> why, cruel fate? The, why is that bad, you may ask? Well, I will be able to actually ship to Luluco now. That's why it has a whole different box. But the problem is, I'm pretty sure our town, like, rank memo is ship some crops from our raise ship 10 crops raised in your field to west town any kind of crop is fine and we just changed it so that i can ship to luluco <laughs> there's so much irony in that no i don't need to remove items that's okay i just need to change shipping destination all right so we'll ship to west town tomorrow and that means anything i put in the box right now will help our town link rank with luluco which is not a bad thing that is uh something we have to do anyway and improve <gasps> you guys look at the map i just noticed my little house looks different my little house looks like a little western house instead of instead of the way it used to look that's so cute oh i love that all those details you guys all those details all right the fodder's coming along we've got potatoes coming along down here so let's go ahead and water everything. 
And then once it is eight in the morning, we'll be able to take our animals out of the barn in the coop because they will be ready to go. There we go. Potatoes, give you some water. More potatoes. Yeah, it looks like the crops do grow a lot faster if you actually take the time to water them twice a day. That's really good to know. All right, so we watered these potatoes as well. And these are my sparkly potatoes. So let's get that sparkly fertilizer out of here. I think I may need to actually go in and get Desi's fertilizer that she gave us instead soon. Look at all these radishes. <laughs> this is a ridiculous number of radishes. <laughs> this is ridiculous. That was so many radishes. Now I need like one more potato seed and like four more packets of, of seed for, um, for radishes. Goodness gracious, that's that's pretty. What? Why are they different? Interesting. So we have. Oh, the juicy rating has changed. Possibly because I watered some of them more than others. Very, very interesting to know. So I might have to tuck away some of these to make sure that I can definitely get the most out of my radishes. Um, let's go ahead and I do have enough energy that we can actually take care of some of our fields. No, I have to retill it. Dang it. Oh, and my, my my beautiful bellflowers are actually done too. So, wow. Busy day, you guys. Busy, busy day. And we have to go mine too. And we've hardly gotten started. This is going to keep me really busy. All right, so let's come up to the hoe and we're going to till up this spot. Go, 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 go. Gotcha. All right, and we're going to till up this spot because I do have a lot of seeds or a lot of... Oh, no, no, I'm tired. Do I have enough food? I think we need to go inside and make some food really quickly. All right, we need to go inside and make some food really quickly. But we will be heading to the mines and trying to upgrade at least one spot. Uh, mashed potatoes. You know what, guys? Let's try mashed potatoes. Let's go ahead and make some mashed potatoes and see how the mashed potatoes do with juicy radishes. And we'll make, uh, we'll make three of the mashed potato things to go with my breads. And we'll see how refreshing mashed potatoes are compared to radish and potato bread. Yay, mashed potatoes! All right, and let's go ahead and whip up some bread for the day. Um, let's see. I'm going to get some potato bread. Let's go ahead and get some potato bread. All right, we'll get the flour. We'll get the potatoes. I'm going to make two. I'm going to make four of them right now just because I have a lot of potatoes at the moment. You really want to use your fields mostly for food that you end up using for cooking. <gasps> I leveled up! Oh, my cooking skills have improved! Now I can create new toppings! Oh, I can add toppings to my dishes! And I got the fledgling chef! Holy days! There is so much going down. Okay, so if I want to make mashed potatoes, topping. Interesting! So now I can find some sort of toppings that I can return to the recipe. Yes. There we go. So now I can actually find toppings to put on top of my mashed potatoes. I wonder what kind of toppings those could be. Oh my goodness. But now I am going to be full of mashed potato energy. So let me go ahead and find those. Let's go ahead and eat it. I'm going to eat one whole mashed potato. Good, good, good. Filled it up pretty decently, uh, all things considered. So now I'm going to grab these seeds. Put them right here. Put these right here. And then we'll go ahead and get all of the flowers up and going. Wow, you guys, this is going to be quite interesting because normally the way I tend to play is I'll do like an entire day all at once. But this is going to really challenge me because, oops, I don't, I don't need to hold my mashed potatoes. I need to eat them, please. <gasps> this is going to challenge me because there's just too much to do in one day, especially when you're commentating on it like the whole way through. So this is fun. All right. And we're going to water our bellflowers. I need to take care of my animals really quickly. And then we're going to go buy some lumber. And we are going to go and we are going to buy some of the tool pieces that we need. Some of the materials we need. So that we can hopefully upgrade our tools. And we can also take good care of our animals. Let's see. Any pieces of mint lingering around. That would be amazing. Alright. Let's go take care of Radish in the roost. Radish! Look at you! Thank you so much, Radish! All right, I'm going to fill up Radish's chicken food to make sure that there is plenty of food over here. Wonderful. And then let's go ahead. I need my pitchfork to clean up. Holy moly days. 
<laughs> There's just so much going on. Okay, and let's get out that special treat to take care of radish, you guys. And as I say that, I like look in my pockets and they have like 50 radishes. That can really make your head spin. All right, so let's see. Where is that special chicken treat? There is the soft treat that improves the affection that the animals are going to have for you. And I could have sworn I bought a whole bunch of treats for my animals recently too. I could have sworn I did, or was it mostly other stuff? Oh yeah, look, Desi just gave me like a couple extras. All right, so there we go. There's one for you, my dear. So that my affection with radish, my chicken should go up. Holy moly, I haven't even had a chance to go mining yet, you guys. <laughs> We've been so busy. All right, and let's improve the fodder. There we go. I think we have to wait until Milky or Minty eats the fodder. Let's see if that does it. Or maybe she ate the last one today and that's why she's okay. All right, come on, Minty. I'm gonna go ahead and milk her. Holy moly, we're so busy. Minty, you and I might have to kind of bump heads. Oh, she wants to work with me. I was about to say we might have to bump heads about getting her outside. All right, there we go. Now we've brushed her. We've given her a little rub on the rump. And let's push her out the front door. Go, no, no, Minty, no, no, Minty. This way, Minty. Yes, we did it! Wow. And we're still only in the early days of spring? We are doing so much already. I have no idea how I'm going to survive when we start really picking up with even more animals, more crops, more towns. There's a whole other town we haven't even unlocked yet. This is amazing. All right, so let's go ahead and we're gonna run straight for the mines today, my friends. And then after we look at the mines, we'll take a moment. Oh, there's red, the crops are ready everywhere. The lupin is over here being pollinated by the small cabbage butterfly. Oh, I love being here. Oh, look, and there's some walnuts. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff to collect. There's so much stuff. All right, let's put a walnut down for these little weasels so that they're not so nervous about us. All right, there's the walnut. They really love this thing too. And I did just take it from like their area too. All right, there you go guys, enjoy. Yay, all right, they're happy. That makes me happy because I don't want to just come over and like steal all of their food. All right, maple branch from my uncle. Checking my uncle's spot. Jeez, apparently you can have a horse eventually which I think is supposed to help you to be able to get around a little quicker and accomplish all of the the crops. No, I almost jumped on a bear. <laughs> That's not the way I really want to start my day. Hello, Desi. If I had a moment, I would definitely give you some flowers, but I'm a little busy just at this exact second. All right, lots of pink lupin. All right, so let's go do our mining. We're going to have to start carving it down to very specific goals at this rate. We're going to do our collecting, do our mining. Oh, I need, I need, I have a fish. I have a fish. We can offer this eagle, you guys. We just did our fishing. Yes, this is awesome. Okay, we're going to put down this black tip something something. All right, I'm going to place it on the ground. And we're going to step back. And, and, feeding wild eagles. Yes, he liked it. Oh, I'm so happy. I wonder how many you can feed them at once. Like, is it just one a day? Did he just fly away just as I was about to put down like another fish for him? Like this sardine? Oh, he flew away. Is he gonna land? Look at that, that's so cool. Okay, he's gonna land. I wonder if you can only put down one thing a day that they'll, they'll take though. Oops, I don't need to pound the sardine into the ground. Yeah, it looks like you can only put down one thing a day that they will actually take, but that's good to know. All right, so let's get the hammer out. Whew, and actually, let's get a meal. <laughs> I'm so busy. This is amazing, I'm so busy. All right, we're gonna eat another thing of mashed potatoes today. Uh, let's go ahead and eat it, there we go. And I have had like four things of mashed potatoes today. This is ridiculous. All right, and let's get to mining. Look at all of this. <gasps> this is so cool. There's so much stuff. There's just so much stuff that has shown up. Look at this, black rocks, old coins. This is amazing. All right, we've got iron, we've got jade, we've got topaz, glass stones, the black rocks we need, more jade, we've got bricks, iron again. I love this, I can't wait to upgrade. I cannot wait to upgrade our hammer so that we can go mining every day. That is so addicting. That is so ridiculously addicting. 
All right, we'll run this way. We've got lots of maple branches that we can save and we can use uh, in other areas. Whoops, sorry about that. And let me grab my other hammer and let's see what we've got, my friends. All right, black rocks, old coins, a lot of iron. All right, probably enough mining, so we'll put this away. So the black rocks we do need for some things, but I think the copper and iron is a little bit more important. So now that we've gathered all of that together, and if we look at it really quickly to see, we've got five iron. How many copper? I need to see. We've got two pieces of copper and we've got five pieces of iron and a beautiful stunning piece of jade. So it looks like we got jade this time. It is worth quite a bit. Topaz is worth quite a bit. Um, wow, we got some old coins. It's probably useful for something, but it's hard to imagine what. That's so cool. And we did not get nearly as many of the rare things this time. But I think the longer you leave your mines alone, the higher the likelihood of the things that you get being really rare. Uh, also, I think if you mine at the other mines, like these big guys down here, then you can actually get even more. But all right, now that we have completed that for today, we can come on over to the materials store, which I absolutely think is the most adorable thing ever, the way the tiny little crystals are set into these boxes, the best. And we're gonna go ahead and buy a few items to kind of compensate for what I can't actually get myself right now. So, oh no, he doesn't sell the ores. <laughs> I was really hoping he sold the ores. Oh no, I might just have to wait until I have more copper to be able to upgrade my stuff. Oh, that's awful. That's not what I wanted at all. Oh dear. All right, and then we have some small lumber. Um, How many do I have? I have zero. I think you need 20 in order to do what we need. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy 20. And then we have the normal lumber, and I think you need 10 ugh, in order to get the pet house. Oh, this is so expensive. <laughs> so, do I really want to buy that many? Oh, I guess I need to. Okay. I think I have, here, I have one, like, one branch inside of my pocket. So we're going to see how much this branch is going to get us. But this may slow our plans down just a little bit, as it probably should, to be completely honest, because we've been clipping along at such a fast rate. Um, there we go. So let's go ahead. I want to place this branch on the ground. And then I'm gonna get out an axe. Nobody panic. I swear this is just because I need to build a pet house. Boink. Boink. And come on, branch. Come on. I'm begging ya. Oh, finally! All right, and we've got some lumber. So I got one whole piece of lumber out of that, and that'll save me about 400 G. I don't know if it's worth the trade-off in energy, but you know what? At least there. All right, we did it, you guys! Thanks to the awesome minerals, we are starting to use up our little supply of, of money that we got from all of the beautiful crystals, but we now have enough money, we now have enough lumber that we can get the pet house! I'm so excited! So we'll be able to come over and seriously start talking to Allison about being able to buy a pet of our very own, a Jack Russell or a short hair kitty at this point. And this one actually can help out with herding and recovery, nice! So we will be working on saving up and getting one of those pets as quickly as we can. I have a feeling it's going to take us a little bit now that we're really struggling to get enough money, but it's all going to be part of the adventure. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.